Hello guys, in today's video we are going to create a custom angular pipe that converts numbers to some well-known format that we will call social number format. So let's switch to Visual Studio Code and start creating our first custom angular pipe. The structure I have here uh, is uh, generated by Angular CLI and it is just a new project uh, in which I, I created shared module uh, with the uh, constants and directives that I covered in the previous video. So if you haven't watched them yet, uh, you can pause this one and go there and watch it and come back here. Also, if you are not going to watch it, you can just create a shared module here and follow the tutorial. So before we start creating our pipe, we just have to know what are Angular pipes. So we are going to switch to our browser and take a look at the pipes. What are actually pipes? Pipes are just uh, simple functions to use in template expressions to accept input value and return transform data. So as you can see here, so these uh, these functions just get the data, transforms them and get them back where they took them. So uh, built-in pipes, for example, are date pipe, uppercase pipe, lowercase pipe, currency pipe, decimal and percent pipe. So this is really, really, something that you I assume used uh, before and now when we know what are angular pipes let's switch to visual studio code and start creating that pipe okay here I'm going to uh, to use the com following command ng g that stands for generate uh, pipe and we'll put that pi uh, pipe in shared folder and in the pipes folder and we'll call it, let's say, social number. Social number. Hit enter and wait for Angular CLI to generate that pipe for us. Okay, as the pipe is generated, we can find the folder with pipes here. And there is our social number pipe. Okay, here we have pipe, pipe transform, and this uh, name here which is social number and we, within this uh, decorator pipe and uh, we are exporting social number pipe that implements pipe transform so this is just basically generated and you know okay uh, the things we are going to change here are the following we are going to say okay we have an input and it is not num a value we'll call it number in our case and it will be a format of number because we will just accept numbers additional arguments we don't have and we don't need in this particular case and the result of this function is going to be a string that we are returning back okay now we have to do the following uh, I'm going to create uh, something to so, some uh, variable here and I'll say let apps that number will uh, convert our number to absolute number so that means that the prefix doesn't matter uh, math apps and our input number okay so we have a number with uh, input uh, which doesn't uh, with and it doesn't mean it is positive or negative number so then we we'll have to use something like this cost and so let's say round decimal points round decimal points it's math ball I'll explain you in a second 10 s2 okay uh, this cost here we are going to use to round our numbers to decimal points so why am I writing like this? Because for me, it's easier to write this and in case of change, just to, uh, to change this number here and to be aware of uh, how many zeros I have here. So how many decimal decimals the number has. So that, that's the point of this one. But if you like to uh, use just 10 or 100 or 1000, you can use it. it depends on what, how many decimals you want to have on your number. I hope that that's clear and now we'll just check if the number is negative 
uh, let's say is negative and we'll say okay number zero if number is less than zero it will return true otherwise it will be false so this is a boolean say okay okay now i'll add a key that is going to be a string for now is empty uh, what does this mean uh, is uh, this key will store our uh, string string of our number number actually is it m or b or g or actually m doesn't matter so the numbers uh, that will be here in, you get a point <laughs> okay and now i have to add my powers here let's say powers it's not like powers the time superhero but uh, it is something that we are doing in the math const powers equals to array so array will hold key and i'm uh, starting with the highest one so i'll say q that will represent quadrillion and that quadrillion has a value uh, that is math power 10 uh, at 15 so uh, the point of having this math power here is because uh, it is easier for me as well as I, as I mentioned here to add a 15 instead of uh, writing 15 zeros and uh, checking if I missed some of these zeros so the same goes for another ones so I'll add more here let's say okay quadrillion then uh, there's a trillion which is actually on 12 then we have a billion that is on 9 and we have a million that is going with the six zeros and we have a, with the three zeros k which is actually a thousand so these are our powers here and what we have to do with these powers is the following uh, we are going through every of these powers and get the value and the key and uh, do some calculations with the with the with these uh, power, with these num numbers here so i'll do the following powers for each and i'll say okay single power we'll do the following with that power and i'll say okay let's reduced equals apps that is our absolute number here because we don't want to have uh, calculations with the negative numbers apps slash power value so we are going to divide this absolute number with the power value that is here for example and first we are going to with the with the quadrillion and so on and so on so uh, be aware in using this approach uh, we have to put them in this order from the greatest to the lowest one okay we have reduced here and now reduced I have we have to do this some some changes here actually some rounding math round and we'll see okay reduced as we use this reduced here reduced times round decimal points the one here and when we round the number we want to divide that number with round decimal points again why are we doing this because when we test that number we have to be sure if that number is uh, going uh, from one and uh, the, the result of that would be uh, for example if you have a uh, 1000 it is one when you when you do the calculations but uh, as we are in the power of let's say k at that point uh, we'll get 1k 
if it's a 1.1 it would be 1.1 K so this is just a calculation of, of that I hope you get it and uh, now I'll say that what I just was talking about if reduced is greatest or equals one we'll say the apps at the beginning equals reduced and key equals power that key okay so what I just was talking about is this one so only if a number is one or greater we will get that number and store it in our absolute and the key power here and also we'll we have just a return the result here and before doing that uh, i'll just uh, do the following uh, we have to, we are we are checking here if a number is less than zero and uh, we can do the following also you can see const prefix if a uh, number is okay let's see this number number is zero less than zero we'll do the following we'll see okay it is uh, minus otherwise it is empty string here so in this case we just uh, I think that we don't need this anymore so we are just getting rid of that uh, the previous value here and we are just using the prefix here that we will use while returning when returning the data okay now um, I'll say just return prefix plus apps that is our uh, number and the key so uh, what we did here is just uh, get the number and did the calculations and we are just returning that number with a prefix app, uh, number and the key that we have here in our powers okay we have to save that and now I just have to check if the pipe is imported in our share module so we have this social number pipe okay it is imported and now uh, we have to test this pipe because that's the process of creating the pipe and we did everything we had to do so now in the app component as I removed everything here from the app component instead of these clouds here and the nav bar uh, that is just a basic Angular template you get when you create Angular application okay here I'll just add something let's say h1 and let's say okay number 1000 and uh, we'll see it is social number social number pipe and it doesn't work for some reason but why we have just to check the shade module social number pipe okay we haven't exported the social number pipe and that is the reason why it doesn't work and it should work right now shared module export social number pipe Pipe here, declarations, imports. Okay, app component. Let me check what's going on. Uh -huh. Okay, it's my bad. I, I missed the, miss the. I made a typo here. And now, let's check. Okay, it is 1k here. To test this, I'll create something. I'll say, okay, input. Uh, that is type of number number and uh, we'll do some two-way binding here to be to uh, just to test this okay I'll say here number okay 
type of number. Or I can, uh, I can just, I can just add a zero here as an issue. Okay, and now we have to use a zero here, that number. And here we are doing to a binding, so uh, ng model, ng model equals the number. So this is just for testing purposes to be easier for us to have some input input field and while we type to get the to see that number changes here using this social number. Uh, we have another issue here. To use ng model, you have to uh, you need to have imported uh, that uh, forms module in your application. So we are going to app module, and I'll just import uh, forms module from Angular Core. Actually, Angular Forms, and go back to our app component, and now we have no errors, and it should work. I just have to save that. Okay. We have zero here and we have zero down. So to test this, I'll add 10 and I'll go with the adding zeros. So it's 100, it's 1K, 10K, 100Ks, 1 million, 10 million, 100 millions, 1 billion, 10 billion, 100 billions, 1 trillion, 10 trillion, 100 trillions, 1 quadrillion. 10 quadrillions, 100 quadrillions. So it's going up to 100 quadrillions. So for higher numbers, it doesn't work. It just goes again because there there's no more in our uh, structure, uh, in our in our pipe actually, and the logic behind it. So we can just test uh, another another case here that I mentioned. So that is the number of decimal points here. So we can add. Let's say three here. Okay, you'll see what, what am I going to do now. Uh, I'll say one, 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 one. So it is one point one hundred and eleven. Okay, you get it. If I get it back to two and then type this number again, we'll get one point eleven. So you get you get a point here. If I go up, you'll get it. And now we can just put a 1 to have this 1.1 here. So 11, OK, 1.1K, 1.1 billion, and so on and so on. So I hope this tutorial helped you to understand the, so, uh, the pipes in, the, in Angular. And uh, this is a pipe that is really useful for some situations when you want to implement some kind of social counters or anything, or if you want to have your numbers shorten, shorten and to show them uh, and to save some space on your application view or design. So uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. And if you like the video and the concept of this video, or if you would like to uh, see more videos, uh, please uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Thank you.